I wish I did not lose my ND filter for this lens. What's up everybody, my name is Timothy, welcome to my channel, and if you've been here before, welcome back. In today's video, I wanted to talk about variable ND filters versus circular polarizers, because I figured not a lot of people know the difference. I didn't know the difference, and now I do, and I want to share that news with you. So this is what an ND fill, a variable ND filter does. So right now I'm shooting on a 50mm f-stop 1.8, and if I wanted to darken the scene, because I'm shooting midday, I'd have to increase my f-stop to about 6 or 7. Right now I'm 7.1. However, if I want to lower it back down and keep the depth of field, the ND filter, and right now I'm at 1.8, if I turn the variable ND filter down, I can keep the depth of field and darken the scene. And by that I mean pay attention to the railings in the background. Again, this is 1.8 with the ND filter up at its max. This is with it at its lowest and then 7.1. You see how the railings are more in focus than when I lower it and turn it? So right now I got my 10 to 18 millimeter on with a circular polarizer and now the difference between the ND filter and the circular polarizer is that the ND filter acts like sunglasses, this doesn't. This basically cuts highlights, reflections, and flares. So you see, you can see the reflection of the sun on this. If I turn the circular polarizer, you see, you see that? Immediately cuts the glare. You can see the difference right here. Just pay attention to that lens. And all I'm doing is turning the polarizer on and off. Not on and off, left to right. <laughs> now the question is, when do you use an ND filter and when do you use a circular polarizer? ND filter, when you wanna shoot outdoors, it's like, again, sunglasses. If it's ugly, harsh sunlight and you can't see anything and you still wanna keep your depth of field and not have just awful, disgusting, harsh light, variable ND filter. A must have for everyone that shoots video. Circular polarizer on the other hand, I wouldn't say everybody needs it. It depends on what you're shooting. If you're going out and shooting reflections of water, I'd use it. If you're shooting cars in the daytime and you don't want reflections of the sun in on the surface or in the glass, I'd use it. But specifically me I would use it in a control setting if I'm shooting products because a lot of the times if I'm shooting something with a shiny surface and I see the reflection of any of the lights that I'm using it's absolutely such a pain to fix it in post so I just throw on the polarizer adjust it get rid of that highlight get rid of that reflection and I'm good to go what I'm trying to say is that it may not be for everyone but it's so cheap the Amazon basic one is so cheap that I would say everyone needs to get one you don't know when you need it and it's and the profile is so thin you could just throw it in your backpack and forget about it but when you need it you can remember that you're always carrying it it's as simple as that but anyway that's your quick TLDR about the variable ND filter versus the circular polarizer if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Smash that like button and turn on your post notification button for future videos because uh, it'll help me and I really want you to. Mm, please. <laughs> Alright, peeps. Peace.